He was running so fast, he fell flat on his face. They're a law unto themselves. There's nothing new under the sun. It's a sign of the times. That guy is the soul of the earth. I think it's putting words in his mouth. Many of these phrases are used every day. You may not realise that they come from the King James Version of the Bible, first published 400 years ago. In fact, the beautifully crafted words and phrases of this book have been spoken in many famous speeches, including those of Abraham Lincoln, Winston Churchill, Martin Luther King, and New Zealand leaders such as Richard John Seddon and David Lange. These great leaders knew how influential the King James Version of the Bible was and how familiar their audience would be with its phrases. The King James Version is one of the most important books ever published in the English language. It has played a key role in shaping Christian faith and life and has also influenced music, education, justice, politics, and of course, the English language itself. This year, churches all over the world are celebrating 400 years of the King James Version. But it is not only a Bible version they are celebrating. They are celebrating the Bible being available to people all over the world in their own language. And that availability is something that has really changed the world. The King James has had an enormous influence, first of all, on religion in English-speaking countries. It's been the book for Protestant religion. But then also it has been the book that writers encountered most. It was the easiest book to go to for truth and for language and the one where they could expect a readiest response from a reader if they were referring to it. So we find it enormously present in literature. I, I think that it's worth celebrating this anniversary of the, the King James Bible um, because it helps us to remember um, how deeply influenced our culture still is by the world of thought of the Bible and of the Bible translators. When we speak about uh, giving all New Zealanders a fair go or when we express our concern for a, a just society or for a society in which the, the poorest and the most marginalised are uh, given a place and their voice is heard, um, we're still operating, even if completely unconsciously, uh, within a world that's been shaped by the King James Version of the Bible. There are times in our lives when we want solemn, beautiful language, and the King James supplies that. But it also, for many people, supplies familiar language that tells them things that they believe in ways that are memorable. And it does that probably better than any other translation. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The publication of the King James Version began a wonderful legacy of Bible translation and publication that now sees God's written word available in many languages, even for free. The Bible that once looked like this, now looks like this. The format, style and type of language might have changed, but God's written word has not. 
God is still changing the world through it.